Hello children. Today let us understand the lesson The Ashes That Made Trees Bloom from the text Honeycomb. It is a Japanese story that focuses on values like honesty and compassion. From this lesson we readers understand that the result obtained after any action depends on our good or bad work which is done by us in the past. We are known by the deeds we do. Now let us understand the lesson. Once there lived an old couple. They had a pet dog. They had no child. They loved the dog as if it were a baby. The dog also loved them very much. The dog was called Muko. The old man was a farmer. Every morning Muko followed him to his fields. One day the dog put his paws against the old man's legs. He motioned with his head to some spot behind. To please his pet the old man followed him. At a little distance from there the dog stopped. It started scratching the ground. To help his pet the old man struck his hoe in the earth. He found a pile of gold before him. So the old couple became rich. They gave a feast to their friends and helped their poor neighbors. In the same village there lived a wicked old man and his wife. They brought the dog into their garden. They set before him good food. But the dog was afraid. He neither ate nor moved they dragged the dog out of doors they walked with him when they reached a pine tree the dog began to scratch the ground the wicked couple was delighted both of them dug the ground but what they got was a dead kitten the couple was very angry they killed the dog then they flung him into the hole they had dug the incident of the dog's death reached the ears of its owner he felt so sad as if he had lost his own child he went to the place where his pet had been buried he mourned for a long time that night he saw his dog in his dreams The dog asked him to cut the pine tree and make from it a mortar for rice pastry. He also asked him to make from that wood a mill to prepare bean sauce. The old man did as he was told. With much labor he made a small bowl of the wood. Then he made a long-handled hammer of wood. When The new year drew near. He decided to make some rice pastry. They put the boiled rice into the wooden mortar. The old man used the wooden hammer to pound the mass into dough. When the pastry was ready for baking, it turned into a mass of gold coins. The old woman took the hand mill and filling it with bean sauce began to grind. the gold dropped like rain at that moment the jealous neighbors peeped into the window he decided to borrow the mill the old couple readily gave their mill to the neighbor the man began to pound the rice and the woman began to grind however this time the pastry and sauce turned into worms They broke the mill into pieces and used it as firewood. After a few days, the old man saw another dream. The spirit of the dog told him how their wicked neighbor had burned the mill. The spirit of the dog asked the old man to take the ashes of the mill and sprinkle them on the withered tree. It would help the tree to bloom again 
the good old man humbly took the ashes from their wicked neighbor. The old man went with his wife to the garden. Their favorite cherry tree was bare. The old man sprinkled some ashes on it and the tree bloomed. The whole village ran out to see the wonder. The greedy neighbor also heard the story. He gathered the remaining ashes. He preserved them to make withered trees bloom. In the meantime, his lord, the daimyo, the daimyos are the wealthy land owners of Japan during the 19th century. So, a daimyo was to pass along the high road. The good old man went to see him with his basket of ashes. As the procession approached, he climbed up into an old withered cherry tree. As the daimyo's palanquin drew near, the old man sprinkled his ashes and immediately the tree burst into blossoms. The daimyo was delighted. He stopped and called the old man to him. He thanked him and gave him many gifts and invited him to his castle. The greedy neighbor heard of the story. He did exactly what the old man had done. However, no flowers were there. The wind blew and the ashes entered the nose and eyes of the daimyo and his wife. The daimyo called him. He was beaten to death. The kind friend of the dog lived in peace and in plenty. He and his wife lived to a happy old age. This is the end of the story. Thank you for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe and comment for suggestions.